They found Star by chance, just in time. These animal welfare officers in Malta had been dealing with a separate case of an abandoned dog when they heard whimpering under the ground. They followed the noise, saw the tip of Star's nose and started digging, taking this picture as they rescued her. When I went down to the soil and started digging, I saw her, her nose, then I complete digging so I take her out. Then we find out that her mouth was tied up with a lace, even her feet were tied up, so he wanted to make sure that the dog won't escape. Star had been bound, buried and shot, but was alive. You couldn't believe as soon as we took her out and uh, picked her up, she was even moving her tail like she's, she was happy again. These are some of the 40 pellets removed from Star's head and neck. Were you confident you could save her? No, not at that time, definitely not. That, uh, that type of wound, uh, no, no, not, not with so many pellets and uh, shot at point blank, definitely, no. How could somebody do this? Probably a sick mind. This horrific story emerged just as Malta is reviewing its animal welfare laws. The maximum jail sentence for cruelty will remain at one year, but tougher fines are now proposed. This one from Australia. Please, please. Officials here have received hundreds of emails from around the world expressing shock at this case and offering Star a home. She managed to get everyone on board on one united front to, to go for animal welfare. Now it's the moment that the Maltese law gets a bit harsher and tougher with culprits who are not so nice with animals. This weekend, there'll be a march through the streets of Malta in support of tougher sentences, and it's been prompted by Star's case. Now, despite offers coming in from around the world, it was decided that Star should stay here in Malta. A family is lined up to adopt her. She needs three or four more weeks medical treatment here at the hospital, and then she'll go to her new home. Her survival and recovery is amazing. Her story is one that will resonate in Malta for a long time to come. Peter Lane, Sky News.